Right when I finished the video, I realized, hey, you know, I didn't touch on the martial arts. You know, okay, how does martial arts tie into eugenics and masonry? Well, it's very simple. You know, let me reference this. I've, I've referenced these things all throughout the series. Um, these are probably some of the most important things you'll find in the entire book. But since I haven't read it all, you know, I'm sure there's other things that prove my point. Probably even better. Who knows? But these things really st stuck out. Okay? So, going back to the mind, body, and soul. Um, I may not have... Oh, no, I did. Okay, to every mason... Let's, let's start up here. To every mason... The soul of man is immortal, whether it ex emanates from and will return to God, and what its continued mode of existence hereafter each judges for himself. Masonry was not made to settle that. To every mason, wisdom or intelligence, force or strength, and harmony or fitness and beauty are the trinity of the attributes of God. Okay? With subtleties of philosophy concerning them, masonry does not meddle nor decide as to the reality of the supposed existences which are their personifications, nor whether the Christian trinity be such a personification or reality of the gravest import and significance. So they're saying, look, we all value these, these things, okay? But they're in the eye of the beholder. You know, like beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Strength and so on and fitness and beauty and blah, blah, blah. Okay. The problem then comes in when you say, well, I am the top martial arts. What are you saying? You say, no matter what you believe as to whether your strength or force is superior to mine, I have come up with a way to prove it. So it is no longer good enough for you to say, well, you know, I believe that this style is better. I believe that he's better. I'm saying, look, you know, I put my money where my mouth is. It's time to expose your misconceptions. Masonry may not exist to settle that, but masonry is certainly concerned with somebody who seeks to settle that because that will interfere with their ability to use their intellect to subjugate men. One way to subjugate men is through power, through expert power, through reverent power, through legitimate power, through knowledge power, through coercive power. And I would argue that my claim interferes with their ability to apply every one of those powers. I said, look, you do not scare me, you fucking sissy. That's why I made my fucking, you know, challenge in the first place. You know, you are not the expert on the martial arts. Thank you very fucking much. I am. That's why I made my challenge in the first place. You do not know more about martial arts to the point where you can defeat me. I know better. That's why I made my challenge in the first place. I'm not going to revere you as my superior. I'm not going to bow to you as uh, uh, some sort of a grand master that is above me in the martial arts world. I created my own Montu style that has escaped the auspices of secret societies and your specific traditions. And I actually go back before your tradition started to point to a place where I, my martial arts techniques are derived. Okay, so there goes your reverent power. So you don't have the reverent power and then your legitimate power. Are you legitimately the expert? Are you legitimately the truth? Are you legitimately the top martial artist or am I? So I've called the five most common forms of power, as was even taught to me in college, I have called them all into question with my top martial artist and to the insightful observer, I am correct. To the initiates in secret societies, I am correct. And here comes the problem. 
if your secret society includes martial arts, if you're if you're a Mason that is, is part, you know, concerned with martial arts, say you're, you know, a Mason who's uh, a karate instructor, say you're a Mason who is in, you know, also is a Buddhist monk, you know, or at least was at one point. Say you, you know, if your 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 religion includes combat arts, as many pagan and you know other religions include martial arts, then what does it say to, that you cannot defeat me? You know, what is it saying to your followers? You know? What kind of message is it sending? And when you give some kind of half ass explanation as to why you really are better than me, but you do not accept my challenge, do you really think all of them will believe you? Certainly, those of us with a brain know that there will be some people who do believe you. And there will be a whole lot of people that do not believe you. So you see the problem that my top martial arts challenge poses to these people who are the social controllers, the social planners, and the social engineers, the architects of society, if you will. The masons who maintain the structure of society, if you will. Do you see the problem my top martial artist challenge presents once it has been two years and over a month? Two years, a month, and almost two weeks. Do you see the problem that they are faced with? First, it was me exposing their means of control exposing their secret networks that they use for control. It was me, you know, make, setting the stage for everyone to be disillusioned with society and those with reverent power in society, those with power in society. It affects their ability to implement their agenda and to subjugate men as they believe they should be able to do which draws into question their methodologies, processes, and procedures, as well as their protocols. It draws into question masonry as an institution. Is it obsolete? Is it ineffective? What is the efficacy of masonry? If you cannot produce the top martial artist, when this is a concept that is recurring and re re reoccurs in religious, you know, is a recurring theme in pagan religions. For example, you know, the people who believe they'll go to Valhalla, the Vikings and Norse mythology and what have you. People who believe you die fighting, the samurai. Okay, this is a key part of a lot of these religions. The samurai code. So what happens? Well, my top martial artist proves every Mason a fucking sissy bitch who hides behind trickery, dishonor, deceit, money, and other bitch shit like that. A materialistic dog that growls because I've pulled up its dress. Because I've neutered the fucking lowly hound. It snarls. All bark and no bite. Because I am the top martial artist when it comes to the application of codified systems, religious systems of how to fight. Something they do not like as they try to balance dark and light. I am the top martial artist in America and I am being persecuted for my political views because of the threat that they pose to cowards who take secret oaths, have secret rituals, and have secret meetings. And they do not wish to expose the extent of their heresy, the extent of their despicable behavior in a free and open society that sees secret societies as repugnant. Thank you.